Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and configure a basic MariaDB database in RHL 7. So, as a Linux admin, you should know at least a basic about the database, any of the database. So, there are many databases which is uh, open source and free in internet. You can able to install them and you can able to configure database, you can create tables and whatever you would like to do. So, in production and environment, it is very much popular which is Oracle. So, Oracle database is uh, very much popular in production environment and most of the companies they use the Oracle. Okay, but along with that there is a lot of cost involved. So, whenever you are going to install an Oracle, you need to pay more to Oracle. That is why uh, that is why there are some database which is available and free so those you can use so in this video what i'm going to do i'm going to install a mariadb so there are a few more like uh, postgres sql database which is also open source and available you can install and uh, configure and postgres sql is also very much popular why because i have seen puppet and uh, OpenStack cloud they use uh, default postgres sql uh, database and also MariaDB. So MariaDB is nothing but an enhanced database which is earlier uh, we used to call MySQL. So whenever I'm going to install and configure this uh, MariaDB, you'd be able to see I'm going to run some of the command which is uh, MySQL command itself. Okay, so for that you don't need to worry much and to configure it is pretty much simple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install the packages and I'm going to uh, configure a basic uh, initial uh, database okay so let me see what are the pack packages I have I think already installed uh, those packages let me just uh, remove it and to show you from the beginning because uh, I think I have installed them to just test whether they worked or not okay so I'm just un uninstalling them and this is regarding G edit not an issue okay so what are those packages what I have to install it so these are the packages okay so first package is MariaDB and second is MariaDB lips and third is MariaDB test that's it so just install those packages and say yes so here you can see there are two packages and plus 12 dependency but I have mentioned three packages and it is installing only two why because there is one package which is MariaDB lives is already installed that is why it is not showing here anyway let me just go ahead and install it because one package is in already installed two additional packages are installing MariaDB and MariaDB test and there are 12 dependency okay so MariaDB test is nothing but a database which is uh, default going to create when I'm going to uh, configure the initial database and you can do a little configuration or you can just do uh, some setting changes on that without creating it because it will going to create automatically so that is why I am uh, installing the test one as well and if you do not want that for production environment basically you do not want this test one so you just uh, you will just need the MariaDB and library files okay so I have installed the packages so what next is to start the service so let me just check the service first Maria DB and it is dead and uh, not started let me start it and check the status again and it is running and next step is to enable it so that when my system is reboot this Maria DB my database is comes along with that and it is done so next step is to configure an initial database okay to configure an initial database what I have to do is I need to run some scripts so when I have installed those packages there are some scripts installs okay so the scripts are mysql sql installation so if I just run mysql underscore tab tab and you can see there are some scripts so for this I'm going to install this one mysql installation I'm going to use this one 
to upgrade probably you can use this if you have already installed it and you wanted to upgrade to latest version and for client uh, using a client to connect with the client you will probably need to use that uh, script okay so uh, without getting further uh, delaying further I'm just going to initiate this one and it is asking for my root password it is not the password which I have used to log into my RHL system it is a root user and root password for my MariaDB database so default it is blank if you have not set any password or you do not have uh, if you are doing it the first time so like it mentioned here in order to log into the MariaDB secure it it we will need the current password for the root user if you have just installed the MariaDB then it is blank okay so see here the password will be blank so you don't have to uh, mention anything so I have set it earlier that's why it is asking me the password so uh, it is saying are you going to set it for uh, new password for the user root I'm saying yes and I'm going to set one more time and set it a little complex password because this is a password for root and the next time it is saying the default anonymous users login will be an enable so what it means uh, any user can be able to access your database so we don't want that any any users to log into my database and do r and d or delete some file and whatever so that is why what i'm going to do is we'll just probably going to remove it okay so i'll say yes to remove it and it is done and next time is it is saying disable root logging remotely from uh, remote for example this is your rs um, server from remote you are trying to log in with root whether you would be able to log in with root or not so it is depend on your environment whether you wanted to enable or disable for now i'm just going to say yes and it is saying it is going to default create a test database and i'm going to use it so let me just create it and the next thing, uh, step is what are the settings i have just mentioned it is going to uh, write and it will going to create a database so this is what it is saying so i'm going to say yes here and that's it my database is created and it is saying thank you for using my db okay so my database initial configuration has been done so now i need to log in so why how i have to log in is maria db okay it is my sql and uh, username username is root and host if if we are using from the client or uh, remote host then probably have to mention host information but here since i'm using it locally so i don't have to specify host name here so i probably would use like this and if you do not use also then it is also fine and the password so password is the password which you have set for root and i'm in so you can see there is a message prompt and you can see the mariadb information and copyright information here and this is the prompt and here it is saying no database currently i'm not using any database that is why it is saying none so i wanted to see let me just clear my screen i wanted to see what are the databases are available to use so whenever I run this command show database and one uh, one thing you just keep in mind whenever you run command in, in database you just have to finish with semicolon here otherwise your command will not run okay so here I can see there are three and test database is not installed I'm not sure for what reason it, uh, it has not installed but anyway I'm going to create a new database with the name of test so currently here it is showing the three database which is available in my system and if you wanted to see those information uh, so or probably describe okay so currently i'm not using any database that's why that command is not using so 
what I have to do is I have to use either one of it so I'm going to use this database so let me just specify it use MySQL and once I have run that command and you can see that I now uh, earlier it was saying as none now it has changed to MySQL now I'm into MySQL database and I would be able to see the information about my uh, SQL database so if I do a sort table and so table so I think it is tables and I can able to see the tables which is default created with MySQL database okay those are the tables which is available and you can edit modify whatever you want okay so we can also switch to other database just saying use command and currently since I'm in MySQL database uh, let me just see the database again database and for example I wanted to go inside this information schema database so to switch inside that I'll just going to run this command and now I am inside information schema database and I can see the tables under the database okay so this is how you can switch okay so use MySQL again MySQL and it has changed to MySQL okay so now I'm I need to create a new database so currently uh, if I do a so database and it is saying only three and I wanted to create a new database so how will I do that so for that you just need to do create database and you just give a name called test or whatever the database name you are going to use it for what are the purposes so let me just run this command okay I forgot to say semicolon here so let me just run it here and now you can see the if, uh, output saying query okay that means my database is created and if I just do a show database again I would be able to see my database here and now I wanted to use the database again then you have to do something like that use database and now from MySQL it has changed to test and if I run so tables under my test database and I won't be able to see anything because I just have created my database which is test and there is nothing inside of it okay so this is how you have to create it in my next video what I'm going to show you is like to create a user for database I'm also going to show you uh, how to backup a database and how to create tables in MariaDB okay so to exit it you just have to say exit and related some configuration related file which is uh, regarding MySQL or my CNF okay so this is the configuration file for your MySQL or MariaDB database if you wanted to change the log information or something like that or some information you want to change it here uh, include directory this one then you probably need to change it inside this file okay and there are some information also you'd be able to see regarding the database under varlib var lib mysql and if you go inside this location you would be able to see the information about your database so this is the database which is available and like I showed you when I have logged in there is mysql performance uh, schema and the database test which I had created right so those information you can able to see here and the file related those database also you can able to see so those are the files which is created under this mysql database okay so for this video that's it guys i will going to show you more about mariadb uh, in my coming videos please subscribe and stay tuned thank you so much for watching this video have a good day